What's up guys and this is it. It's time to do a speed test comparison between the new iPhone 15 Pro Max versus the Galaxy S23 Ultra. As always, we'll be testing out everything from apps opening to RAM management, gaming, rendering, image processing speeds and much more. Before we start the test, this video has been made possible by Software Keep, the best and the most authentic place to buy Microsoft Windows or Microsoft Office products at super affordable price. Now with a massive 20% discount if you use my special code XSEC20 when checking out. Considering it's a back to school season, Software Keep will take your academic life to next level by offering authentic softwares at the most affordable price. I gotta say, I wish I knew about Software Keep when I was a student because something like this would have made my life so much easier. They are Microsoft's gold certified partner which shows their excellence and they have near 5 star reviews use online for their trusty service. So don't miss this opportunity, definitely click the link in the description below. Use the code XTech20 for 20% off on the checkout, happy software shopping. As always, we'll kick things off by booting up both phones at the same time, doing the classic boot up test. Here we go in 3, 2, 1, boom. Let's see who wins the first battle and as you can see the iPhone 15 Pro Max is quicker by a lot Samsung is by the way running the official One UI 5.1 version. Now we are running the latest software versions on both phones, iOS 17.0.2 versus the September patch of the One UI 5.1 on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Yes, as of now, the One UI 6.0 is still in the beta stage, so it would be unfair to test it out against the iPhone, which is why I downgraded. But enough chit chat, let's start off the test by firing up the engines with the Geekbench 6 application. Let's launch at the same time and Galaxy S23 Ultra very quick there. Now when you look at the spec sheet, you can see this is the highest amount of RAM that we have ever seen on an iPhone ever before, near eight gigs of RAM, up against 12 gigs of RAM on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Now we're just gonna quickly run a CPU benchmark on both phones just to see where we add when it comes to numbers. Now as you can see, the iPhone finished off way quicker than the S23 Ultra. The S23 Ultra finished as well, and you can see the massive difference in the score Scores. The A17 Pro is just breaking all the records, but is it going to matter in real life performance? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna find out in this video. As always, we'll be kicking things off with some basic stuff first, starting with phone dialer. You can see really smooth on both phones. Let's try and see the animation on both devices. That looked really good. Let's try this again. Super smooth on both devices. Once again, I am on the September patch, uh, which is showing great animations against the iPhone 15 Pro Max. We'll see if that's the case with the third party apps as well or not. Jumping into, jumping into settings. Again, pretty smooth on both phones. Moving on to our first third party app of the test, which is going to be YouTube. And that is quicker on the S23 Ultra. Again, a bit of a different feed, but you can see it's looking pretty smooth on both devices. If I just do a bit of a scroll test, let's try and exit at the same time. Wow, that was, that was smooth. Yep, that looks really good so far i'm happy to see samsung keeping up their animations with the 15 pro max next up we have twitter and that is definitely quicker on the galaxy s23 ultra if we scroll around wow so seems like even twitter which wasn't optimized for android before is also fully fixed like do you see that smooth scroll animation on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. We always had lags and issues with the previous versions, but wow, Samsung came in clutch, or I should say Twitter, they optimized their stuff for Android because it's looking pretty good here in comparison to the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Let's exit at the same time. Boom, no problems. Spotify, 
that is definitely quicker on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Moving on to TikTok. And that is quicker on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. If we scroll around, you can see very smooth performance on both phones. No issues whatsoever. By the way, do follow me on Instagram at ZTechGear0. Time to exit. Looking smooth. Subway surfers. And that is quicker on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. We're just gonna leave the game inside on both phones. So far, S23 Ultra is holding up really well against the iPhone. Next up, we have Instagram. And that felt really good and fast on both phones. Again, you guys are the judge here for this one. I feel like iPhone was slightly quicker, but again, I might be wrong. Let's check out my profile that loaded up exactly the same on both devices. Yeah, really quick. Let's check out the speed of the Insta camera. So here we go. That felt quicker on the iPhone. Trying one more time. Once again, faster on the iPhone. One more time. And yep, iPhone is a little bit quicker in opening the Instagram camera compared to the S23 Ultra. Now what about the actual default camera app on both phones? Let's launch them in 3, 2, 1, boom. And that is also slightly quicker on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Let's take a quick photo. One more time. Boom, 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 boom. As you can see, both phones are quick, but seems like iPhone is just a tiny bit quicker there. Let's see the image capture speed with the back camera. So here we go. Yep, it seems like the iPhone is quicker. Even though it's taking a 24 megapixel photo compared to 12 megapixel on the S23 Ultra. Now let's see the speed in the high megapixel mode on both phones. So 48 versus 200 megapixels. And you can see the iPhone is definitely, definitely faster while these images are still being processed in the background. iPhone is doing that on the go. So I guess that was one way to show the speed difference between the two chips, which is the high megapixel image processing. iPhone is doing that uh, much faster than the S23 Ultra, but Samsung has improved a lot, a lot compared to how I remember I first unboxed it with the first software update. So things have improved a lot. Next, we're gonna jump into Reddit. That is slightly quicker on the S23 Ultra. Let's have a quick scroll. Oh, there we go. We saw the lag there. On the S23 Ultra, let's see if we see that again with the second swipe. There is a little bit there. Let's see? Okay, so I guess it was just loading the app, so once everything is loaded, it's now looking smooth. Since we have a lot of apps open in the background, let's quickly do Another animation exit test here. Here we go. Okay, looking, still looking very smooth on both devices. Asphalt 9, let's see which one will load up this game quicker. One of my favorite games to play on smartphones. And you can see that was about the same. I guess iPhone is doing a bit of game sign up there so i think we should count this a bit of a draw but what about the actual in-game loading time so we're gonna be launching the same stage on both phones let's see who launches this stage faster and that is i believe quicker on the galaxy s23 ultra wow so s23 ultra is pulling through with all of this stuff even with the in-game loading times, things are looking really, really quick. Both phones are running this game on 60 frames per second. So, of course, iPhone has the dynamic island. So, I personally kind of prefer the cleaner look of the S23 Ultra if I'm gaming or consuming media. Just some personal preference. But, yeah, looking really good on both phones. But, yeah, the S23 Ultra faster with the in-game loading time. Next on the list, we have PUBG Mobile. Let's see if we have any comeback from the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Seems like no, because the iPhone still loses to the S23 Ultra, which is first to complete the initial loading time. And as you can see, it is already here 
before the iPhone resumed the session on both devices and see some in-gaming performance between the 8 Gen 3 and the A17 Pro. So if we quickly check out the graphics option, we can see both phones have extreme HDR as well as the extreme frame rate option available. So you can play this game at the absolute highest settings if you want to. Let's try the performance on the iPhone 15 Pro Max and wow, that looks absolute butter. Wow, this is, this is incredible. Yeah, easily 60 plus FPS. Let's try it out on the S23 Ultra and once again, same kind of result. Incredible performance, 60 plus FPS. Man, all thanks to Qualcomm for stepping the game up for Samsung. Moving on to some video rendering on both phones. So we have Adobe Rush app uh, launched up on both devices. We'll be loading up a similar clip on both devices. So this is a 4K 60 FPS clip shot on Sony A7S III. We're gonna apply a color LUT on both phones. It's time to render this clip on both phones at the same time, export at 1080p. And you can see the iPhone 15 Pro Max is just blazing through the rendering times, but Galaxy S23 Ultra is also not far far behind. Okay, it is it is pretty far behind. iPhone 15 Pro Max is done. S23 Ultra is still in the 70 percentage. Now it is done as well. So wow, that is a pretty noticeable difference in terms of video editing and rendering. With that being said, S23 Ultra was definitely not slow by any means. Now time for a quick browsing test. We'll be opening the same website on both phones. So Safari on the iPhone versus the Samsung internet browser on the S23 Ultra. Let's go with the first website. And you can see the S23 Ultra definitely, definitely quicker with this first website. Let's check out the scrolling speed. Very much optimized on both devices. If we zoom in and out. Next up we have phonearena.com and that is once again slightly quicker on the S23 Ultra. So that's a flawless victory when it comes to browsing speed on the S23 Ultra. Let's exit at the same time. Animations are looking gold as well. Now, last but not the least, it's time to look at the RAM management. 8 gigs of RAM on the iPhone 15 Pro Max versus 12 gigs of RAM on the S23 Ultra. Who's going to be the winner? Let's see. We opened the Geekbench 6 in the beginning of the test, so we're gonna open that and check if it's still in the memory or not. So here we go that is still there on the iPhone and it's still there on the S23 Ultra. Next we got phone dialer, still there. Settings, YouTube, no refresh whatsoever so far on any of these devices. Let's go ahead and jump back to Twitter. That is still there, incredible performance. Subway Surfers, still there on both phones. Instagram, Literally both devices are moving flawless. Asphalt 9 seems like both are having in-app refresh. So this is not a full refresh as seen in the previous test. So we're not gonna count that as a refresh. So moving on to PUBG that is still there on the iPhone and still there on the S23 Ultra as well. We're back to Premiere Rush and we are back to the browser. So Wow, flawless performance when it comes to RAM management on both phones. And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes our speed test comparison between the iPhone 15 Pro Max and the S23 Ultra. I gotta say, S23 Ultra has been improved a lot, especially on this September patch when you look at the animations, RAM management. It was on iPhone's back the whole time, really neck and neck performance. My favorite thing was the animations, especially with all the apps that were open in the background, especially against the king of animations which is the iPhone 15 Pro Max. That's all for the speed test. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Again, if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe for all the iPhone 15 Pro coverage. With that being said, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.